Hello everyone! In this video I show you how to disassemble the Canon 70-300mm DU IS USM lens to get access to the aperture unit. Recently I had this lens which had problems with the aperture and that was caused by a faulty aperture unit. So I had to disassemble the lens, replace the faulty aperture unit with another one and then assemble the lens. In this video I show you how to disassemble the lens. If you're interested in the assembly video then the links are in the description below. Before I will start, let me talk about the tools that I will use to disassemble the lens. I will use a Philips 3.0 screwdriver, a Philips 2.0 screwdriver, a plastic spudger, a metal tweezers, a wood screw and a permanent marker. If you are interested in buying them, then the links are in the description below. I hope this video will be useful, helpful, informative and adds value to you. If that's the case, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, send me a donation, or buy a camera or lens from my webshop. The links are in the description below. If you have anything to add to this video, then share it in the comment section below. Also, there's an update section in the description. If I have anything to add to this video after it has been posted, then I add it there. So I would highly recommend to check it. So, let's get started. This is the lens which will be disassembled. Remove the two smaller screws from the electronic connector. Remove the four bigger screws from the bayonet of the lens. Lift up the bayonet a little bit on the other side of the electronic connector, then push up the inner plastic cover ring. Be careful not to damage the cable between the electronic connector and the PCB. Remove the plastic cover ring. Remove the rear sleeve. Disconnect the flat cables. There is a cable which is hard to reach with the tweezers, so I disconnect it after I lift up the PCB. Lift up the PCB, then disconnect the remaining flat cable. Remove the screw. Remove the zoom rubber ring. Remove the cover of the zoom brush. Mark the position of the zoom brush, so it will be put back to the exact position as it is there now. Remove the zoom brush. Remove the zoom lever from the rear of the lens.
Remove the zooming ring. Remove the screws from the rear sleeve of the lens. Remove the rear cover of the lens carefully. Make sure that the flex cables are not damaged during it. Remove the manual focusing ring. Remove the screws from the USM motor unit. Lift up the USM motor. If the USM motor is stuck and can be lifted up, then twist the focus ring to infinity so the lever of the motor can slide out. Mark the plastic sleeve which will be removed next. Remove the screws and the cover sleeve. Mark the position of the front lens tube. Remove the screws. Slide the front lens tube out. In order to remove those sliders, expand the lens and they will fall out. In the next step, I'm going to mark the sleeves of the eccentric screws. 
On the left side of the photo, you can see that the sleeve has three cutouts in the inner side of the ring. I mark where the middle cutout is, so this way I know how it was in the lens originally. The lens is calibrated this way, so the rings should be assembled at the same position as they were originally. Remove the six screws from the side of the lens. Use a wood screw to remove the plastic rings. As you can see, I separate the screws and the sleeves so I can put them back at the same place where they were originally. Expand the lens so you will have access to the aperture unit through the holes in the side of the lens. Use a metal tweezers to push the aperture unit out of the lens.
We finish disassembling the lens. Join me in the next video where I show you how to assemble the lens. Link is in the description below. I hope this video was useful, helpful, informative and added value to you. If that's the case, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, send me a donation or buy a camera or lens from my eBay webshop. The links are in the description below. If you have anything to add to this video, then share it in the comment section below. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time in my other videos.